All right, check this out, man. I didn't know there was a Nintendo World here at a Universal City Walk. Gonna check. It's a small store, but I guess we can check it out. Yeah, look at all this. They got the tubes too on this thing. That is pretty awesome. We got some merch. A lot of cool little merch. Screens, Nintendo World shirts. This is cool. Little ghost. It smells kind of weird in here. Look at these power up bands. Love the colors in here. Some shirts, water bottles. And they got like artwork all the way across too. I didn't see that on top. I didn't have the flagpole right there too. Look at all the cool little merch they have here. No, oh, even has some figures. That's pretty awesome. A lot of cool little stuff, man. Wow. Pins, for all you uh, pin collectors, they definitely do have lots of, oh, they, well, actually, I think these are keychains. Keychains and maybe pins? I don't know what these are. But um, look at these. Look at these little keychains, man. These are pretty awesome. Mario, oh, look at the gold ones are really nice, too. They got Luigi and Mario, the classic one, too, the original, original ones. And then on this side over here, look at that. A lot of cool stuff. Yoshi. The gold, these are cool. Look at these gold ones are cool, and they spin, too. Now we got a lot of merch here. Shirts. There's uh, King Koopa or Bowser. And the coffee mugs too, these are pretty awesome. That's the good quality ones too. Some hats, shirts, sweaters. I like these. I love the colors on these shirts here. Some more stuff. Look at the, they have um, it's like a pin set. And then they have the universal, looks like a little, like a little trophy. There's me. What are these, signs? They got some signs here. A lot of little, a lot of cool little stuff here. I'm not like a crazy Mario fan where I need a lot of this merch, but I mean, if you guys are in the area, again, I don't come down here that often. So I didn't know this store even existed. It's, a, it's definitely a lot of plushies though around here. This looks like it's more of like the real, pr like big prints on their shirts. But I mean, like I said, look at this, you get tons and tons of, that is a cool backpack right over there. Some more, more little plushies. I do like this mug. And then this is cool. It almost looks like it is like metal. It's a bag here. And then here's some more, they got, they got the gloves. Look, I guess stocking more plushies down that way. Yeah, so this is the Super Nintendo World in Universal City Walk because Universal Studios has the Mar- I've never been. Have you guys been to the Mario World or Mario Land? I like these lights. But see, there's the, there's the flagpole, the Mario flagpole. This is really cool. I like this, this whole setup right here in the front. All right, still at the City Walk. Oh, there's the Universal um, logo. I think Universal Studios is that way. Right here is the Hot Topic. Let's, let's head, oh, this is small. T3 was telling me this is a small one, but he, I guess he's right. Oh, look at that whole Slipknot section. Let's see what they got. Cause I actually want to see if they have any um, X-Men shirts. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey, how are you? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, yeah, it's actually not that big. And they're, I'm, I'm pretty surprised they're not blasting any, any music. I didn't know they made a Cassandra Kane pop. Oh look, yeah, these are out. Look at the Slipknot ones, man. What do we got? Panic at the Disco, Days of Future Past. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to see where the shirts are at. Any corn shirts that I would want? It's My Chemical Romance right up top. Slipknot. I don't see. There's Evanescence. I don't see any corn or even Deftones. Maybe I'm just not looking right. Oh, there's a red Deftones right up there. There's a couple of Deftones. Offspring. Okay, so there's some X-Men shirts. Oh, there is an X-Men 97 shirt. Here, let me focus in a little bit more. Right there. Okay, so here's one of the X-Men shirts. I'm not gonna lie, this one is cool. Look at that, you got the whole team right front and center. Wolverine, Rogue, Cyclops, Beast, Jean, Gambit, and Magneto in black and white on top. This is a great looking shirt. And here's another X-Men 97 shirt. This is a cool one too. This is like on a, looks like it's bluish color shirt, but you have the whole team. I actually prefer the other one better. Hey, they covered Storm. 
The other one, the other one's a little bit better, but I, I do like this one too. Ah, oh, Carlos, you were right, man. They did have a Gambit shirt here. This is cool. Um, I like the one I have from Culture Kings, but it's based off of the uh, the comics. This is um, based off the animated series, but I do have uh, Culture Kings animated series shirt. This is cool though. Love the um, the blue and pink. Yeah, it is navy. I'm scanned by the other X-Men shirts they have. They have the Jim Lee uh, issue one, comic one. They have a really cool Venom one here too. And then there's also the um, the 90s run X-Men cover shirt too, which is pretty sick. They got some good selection here for the comics, shirt-wise. Here's their horror stuff. Oh, they got a lot of Scream and uh, Terrifier. Check out, they got Scream um, sandals. This is a cool Killer Clown shirt. And look at these, they have the, uh, the handmade robots. Killer Clowns. They also have these here, which you find at Walmart. And then they have a Tar Man one, dude. This is so sick. I love this. Oh man. What are the prices on these? Damn, 24 bucks. Everything is going up in price. What is this? Like a tin? Yeah, it's a tin Friday the 13th poster. Some good stuff here, man. I don't really go to Hot Topic anymore like I used to. There's a whole like movie and show section over here. So you can see there's some scream. Scream shirts, Spider-Man. Whoa, dude, look at these. They have old school looking uh, Simpsons characters. Actually, I don't know if this is supposed to be old school or not, but they look cool. There's a lot of um, a lot of plushies here. Look at these. I, I still have my OG plushies. They have like the hard head, pause. Oh, there's Itchy, Itchy and Scratchy. So they got some of the other the other characters here. Some cool stuff, man. There's um, Santa's Little Helper. And we got some shirts. Dude, the mugs are pretty sick. These ones right here. That's awesome. And then they also have <laughs> these. Dude, these are pretty awesome. I love this. This is cool too. Lard Lad Donuts. We got some shirts. Dude, they have they have an entire section here of the Simpsons. Small adult. These are slippers. And then some more there. Got a lot of ET stuff. Jurassic Park. This is cool, look at this. Is this actually open? And you, oh yeah, look at that. That is, I think this is, this obviously looks like it's fun coat, but these mugs here, look at this. If I drop this, I'm screwed. But it's only $21 for this mug. This is really nice and it does read Jurassic Park in the front. This is a really nice mug. 21? Yeah, 21. There's some Universal, Mo dude, I like that jacket. I really like this jacket. And the Universal Monster uh, shirt's pretty cool. Or the Hollywood shirt right there is actually pretty cool. But right here, we do have the Universal Monster section. We got some mugs. Those look like they're NECA figures right up top. Some more shirts. And these are like shot glasses with, uh, you know, you can choose the character that you like. And then we have some shirts here. Creature from Black Lagoon, Bride of Frankenstein. Who else is in here? This is the, whoa, that Wolfman one's pretty awesome. And then, oh, they also have some, some pretty cool hats too. And then the Mummy T-shirt. Okay, I love these. These remind me of like the old school glasses back in the day. Look at the King Kong one. The King Kong one is pretty awesome. And the Jaws one too, look at that. This is pretty cool. These are uh, $10. I really like this jacket though. So this is, yeah, this is the Universal store. It's just outside of the um, of the park. I think the other side is the Harry Potter side. Like, like that's on that side, it's like the all Harry Potter side. But this is pretty cool. I was hoping to see maybe a little bit more horror stuff, but there's not. But they do have some some pretty good some pretty good merch here, especially if like you're into the Simpsons and some of the Universal monsters. Now yeah, look at Kong right there. This is freaking sick. What the heck is this? This is like a horror store. Look at this. What is this place? Voodoo don't oh it's Voodoo Donuts. Universal monster store. I guess we can come in real quick. Oh, it's kind of small. Whoa. It's kind of small. Oh, it's all the stuff that they have in the... Hey, how you doing? Look at this, the bendies. They have all the bendies. I don't know if I've seen all of these, but they do have all the bendies here. Oh, this is cool. Look at the Wolfman, which I believe this is Iron Studios. Some shirts, some poster prints, some hoodies, 3D. There's some more prints right here at the bottom. Wolfman and the Mummy. This is cool. Oh, that's nice. Mummy hand. There's some keychains. And some mugs. Some more more posters. 
Oh no, they actually have official posters over here. Look at this, the mummy. Oh, they got more, they got more. They got Leatherface. Right, this is a cool one. That's cool. There's Freddy, there's an, this is the one they had at the comic shop. That's cool, welcome to the family. Halloween, Rob Zombie. That's cool. Always like the poster for Chucky part two. Godzilla, Dracula, Friday the 13th, Beetlejuice, Godzilla, Frankenstein, ooh, classic right there. Some more stuff, it's a, it's a cool little, little spot, look, they got a sarcophagus. Oh, this is a, this is a cool hats. I like the colors on the Frankenstein ones. And they have shot glasses of Frankenstein, it's cool. Check this stuff. Some mugs. That's cool. Got the Frankenstein outline. Oof, psycho. Look at all this. This is a cool little shot. This is nice. 400 for that. There's another, oh, there's an opposite. That one has the outline of um, Bride of Frankenstein. I do like that hat. And then some lunch, lunch boxes. Dude. A nice little space. Oh, look at these creature. I think this is the the front of it, and they're the back of it. Yeah. But yeah, that's the Universal, the Universal Monster Store, which is right there. Hey, look, these are supposed to be like the the Freddy Kruegers, but if you guys know about shoes, there was some Freddy Kruegers that were actually released by Nike Nike SBs. And those go for like 50,000. But um, these are like the Freddy Krueger colors right here. Uh, the pandas, the new Air Force ones. Those are nice though, I do like these colorways right there. Tell you guys this much, it is a beautiful day in Hollywood. It's really, really nice weather. It's not too hot. Again, we got the Hollywood stars here. Last time I was here with, was with my buddy, uh, Lucas. But check this out. The stars, Loretta Young. Uh, but I came, uh, my dad's with me, so this is the first time he's going to Funko Hollywood. And then I do want to spend a little bit of time in Amiibo Records. We used to have like big Funkos out here. I wonder if they took them out because of, um, of the uh, like people maybe messing with the product. There it is. We're back in. My dad's probably going to be amazed with this place because he's never been. Look at that. And they still haven't changed stuff. So here's the Marvel stuff because I want to see if they have the Funko Shop exclusive um, Wolverine pop. And then last time I was here, they didn't have Gambit. So I do want to see if there is the, the Gambit. They got some box lunch exclusives. I think there's a Funko exclusive area though. Um, it's pretty dark in here. I don't know if they're going to make out anything. Let's see. Look at this. This is new. So they're definitely taking advantage of the X-Men 97 stuff. But check this out, they got a little X-Men 97 area, there's the Sentinel, and then there's the 8-bit pops right here, which are freaking sick. So this is nice, but is there chases? Would there be chases? No. PX, there's another one back here, no chase. And then the X-Men 97 uh, puzzle, which is pretty cool. Oh, let's see what else we got over here. So we got Thanos, and then, but yeah, there's a Wolverine exclusive pop. There's some Daredevils. There's the yellow one. I think I got this one for, for Carlos, if I'm not mistaken. There's a bearded one there. And then uh, what do we got over here? Just random Marvel stuff. There's the big Loki. Then we have, what else we got? A lot of, a lot of stuff here, man. Captain America. Here's the, the little scene that has them eating at the restaurant. That's pretty cool. Oh, here's the here's the exclusive Wolverine. This is it. This is the exclusive one. This is nice. What are the prices on these here? This, there's that one's freaking sick too. But this is the one that I actually wanted to come and look at. And looking at them to see what else they have. Um, again, I don't see the Gambit here. They have Bishop. There's Longshot. Uh, they got the Target exclusives here. The Box Lunch exclusives. I do have, I won the Bishop one at, a, at, a, at the X-Men panel at WonderCon. Um, Loki. All right, so here's the PX exclusives. So this is actually new here. They didn't have this section here the last time. And here is Gambit. So 
So I am actually going to get this from Entertainment Earth. Link in the bio. This looks cool. The X-Men covers are awesome, but it's just I don't think these things actually connect. So there's that's there's that one that we just need the one with um I think this is it, right? There's this one, no the Cyclops one. We need the Cyclops cover too, which they haven't done yet, but the Gambit one looks looks really good. So there's Gambit, Magneto, Beast. Ah the DC section. I love this section. Let's see what they have here. I don't know if there's anything DC I need anymore. You know, again, I'm not trying to buy everything, but here, look, there's Spider-Man 2099, there's that Target Con uh, Red Lantern. I love these, though. I do love these. I think these look great. I never got them when they were at Target. Maybe, maybe down the line, I'll end up picking them up. I remember when I was buying all the Flash ones. I forgot about this one. This is pretty cool. Right here with him in the chair. And then this section is just amazing. My pops. What do we got? Okay, so let's see if there's anything new. So we got Harley Quinn. This is the 30th anniversary. Looks, it looks like it's from the animated series. It's a GameStop exclusive. Um, I wish they did have more of the original uh, animated series figures. So there's one right there. There's a Batman one. There's the, uh, there's also the um, Batman Beyond, and then the Batman, Batman Forever, which I love those pops. Some shirts too. And then there's a the giant Nightwing. Some Amazon exclusive stuff. You know, I don't know if I ever noticed that Cyborg was up here. This is cool. Here's the Funko Shop exclusive Sinestro. Remember last time I came here with my buddy, I ended up picking up the, um, the Penguin and the Two-Face, which are freaking sick. The Lex Luthor one's pretty cool too. This is a nice setup right here. I love the um, the vibes on this thing. This looks so good. And there's like secrets to in here too. Look at that. This is so cool. Ah, I'm doing a video. My daddy thinks I'm taking a picture. <laughs> All right, dude. My dad. My dad don't care. Look at that. Here we go. Here's the Godfather. Michael Michael uh, Corleone, Fred Cal Cal Corleone, Tom Hagen, Vito. Oh, they got the they got Goodfellas too. I didn't realize that. Look at that we got um, Clerks three too. How many of you guys are Clerk fans? Just the Kevin Smith exclusive. This is this is a really cool spot. I, don't know, I like the colors on this one. The Nun Demonic. It's basically this one, but just different color. It's like a lighter, like bluish almost. And they still don't have like a, you know. The, the Popsies for Pennywise. But it's nice that they still have a, a It section here. So I'm looking for the It one, the 1990 version of this one here. But they don't they don't have it here, which sucks. Uh, you see, yeah, see, look at this. Many? This is a, oh, there's two different ones. What the, so this is a, oh, this is, oh. No way, that is awesome. Look, this is awesome. I don't know if he says anything. Oh, it does the breathing sound. You probably can't hear it because I'm mic'd up. That is awesome. So there's that one. No, no, no. But this is the 18-inch um, the, the one. This is really cool. But this one's obviously the better one because it has a light-up feature. But I didn't know this is a Funko Shop exclusive. These are cool. These are lunch bags, it looks like. I just love the artwork, especially on that one, too. These are the Funkos that I saw at, that I see at Target. I don't, know, I don't know if, yeah, I think this is it. This is the one, yeah. That one's cool. I remember this one. I think that's an older one. Uh, this is a cool one. This is a really cool one. Yeah, look at all these different yeah. Iron Maidens. It's freaking sick. So there's, then there's these ones right here, the album covers and the glow-in-the-dark versions too. Slipknot, there's Slipknot. You know, a lot of people love that. I think Corey's always the one that's, that's hard, to, hard to find. Then the Rob Zombie one, which I love. And I got this one for 20 bucks at um, TJ Maxx. Yeah, there's no more Jonathan Davis here, not that I see at least. They got a lot in the in the music though. And there's even have the Cure right there at the bottom. Panic at the Disco, Megadeth, Kiss, a U2 one. Uh, there's another one. There's um, Soundgarden. Soundgarden's over there. I thought there was. There's a lot of Wolverines here. Look at all this. This is stacked. That's a lot. These are cool. Spider-Man, Oscorp. We got J. Jonah Jameson, Dusk. I don't know if these are new or not. This is a cool looking Spider-Man though. And then they have the um, Spider-Man, I think this glows in the dark, maybe not. I'm probably making that up. 
All right, so I ended up picking up I ended up picking up that Wolverine. So we're going to Amoeba Records next. Oh man, look at the food they got over here. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh my God, look at the hot dogs. Yeah. God, I hope I do not get sick from eating beer. If you guys have never been to Hollywood, definitely to come down here and check it out. It's pretty packed. Sometimes it can smell like piss down here, but it's, it's definitely a cool spot to check out. Again, Funko Shop's right behind me. Amoeba Records is like right, I don't know where I'm at. It's right there where my finger's at. So that's where my dad and me are gonna go heading, be heading right now. And you get some people that are talking to themselves like uh, this gentleman, probably right there behind me, talking to himself in the mirror. A lot of that down here too. There it is. Dude, $10 hot dog. I don't think we knew how much it was gonna be when we got this. Uh, whoa, here we go, back in Amoeba Records. This is the set $100. It doesn't even, it's not even worth that. They're like $5 a piece, I think. Oh, I found corn. Oh, here we go. Life is peachy at 36 bucks. I do need a life is peachy. What else is in here? There's a life is peachy. Fall the leader I already have. Um, this one I don't have. Issues is one I really do need too. There's a $29 here. This is what, an exclusive Requiem maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Looks like that's it. I need the first album. What's this? It's just corn. That's not even love and death. Corn? Oh, here we go. Check it out. I just got this one. Oh, there's White Pony, man. Not White Pony, yeah, around the fur. Around the fur, there's a bunch of them right there, too. This is the White Pony exclusive. Self -self well, self titled. Diamond Eyes. Saturday Night Wrists. Koi no Yokan. Ohms. Which one's, this is a record store day. This is an exclusive Death Tones White Pony. So this is digital, what is this? Limited edition. So it's just digital bath and, um, just digital bath? And the Fiesta I always say that one. Holmes. Holmes. Yeah, this is, this is definitely one that I do want though. Look at that, man. This is so... I just got the CD of that. Yeah, the albums I need. They got Life is Peachy and the Issues album. I do need these, man. I think they, they're pretty sure they have all of them. Only like $4.99. I think that's used. Corn, corn, all these issues. It's not a bad price either. But the essentials. I saw this used at um, Book Off for like $21. It's a crazy price. Greatest hits. That's it. They got, they got the ones I need though. I mean, I do need, I still need issues. This was the hard cover to get when this first came out. I could never find this cover, but now I don't see the um, the other covers, the covers, what, B, C, and D? I don't I don't see those ones anymore. Look at that, we got Limp Biscuit Greatest Hits. They don't even have any Limp Biscuit stuff. This is all they got. Boiler, Get You Alive, Behind Blue Eyes, Why, Lean On Me, Home Center. Bonus tracks, but yeah, they don't have, that's all they got for Limp Biscuit. It's pretty weak. Um, they got some Linkin Park though, but they don't have their first albums here. Dua Lipa, I think Dua Lipa's hot. What do you guys think? Dua Lipa, good looking, no? I don't see, yeah, I don't know if Limp Bizkit like can, comes on, starts off over this way or not, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like, oh wait, 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 no, no.